good? Yep. Start. Cool. All right, hey guys. Uh, today we're doing um, flyer specific uh, stretching and conditioning to try to get those body positions even better than they were before. Um, Anybody can do this, but what we're looking at is very specific for all flyer body positions. Um, so first thing we're going to do is called 20-20-20. Um, we're going to take a little step back. Now for all of the next couple of exercises, the big key is that we're really isolating your upper body and everything else. So you're just going to stand, put your foot over here. I like to put hands on hips because it helps me just stay in control. But you're just going to be lifting. Now the thing is, it's a big, big difference between doing this and keeping all of this nice and still and tight and just lifting the foot for all the stuff we're about to do make sure we're doing it like that so we're going to be here put one foot on y'all can do that um, and just lifting you're going to do all the tricks everything we're going to do 20 straight ahead like that we're going to turn to the side do 20 like a toe touch so it's slightly in front in a straddle and we've got to give me like two one two we're going to do 20 like that and then we we'll turn all the way around like an arabesque and 20 lifting up like that one two so you're going to do relax you're going to do 20 in front 20 to the side 20 behind other foot, 20, 20, 20. Go ahead and start knocking those out. If you're following, it at, uh, following along at home, you can use a bed, the side of a couch, uh, anything like that. And the higher, the more difficult. Good, already working, perfect. Uh, here's the long span of time where I don't know what to say. Feeling good, keep going, keep going. Make sure we're pointing toes and keeping knees all the way straight throughout the exercise. Don't forget to smile. All of this should be nice and slow and controlled. Keep those knees. Nice and slow, do not rush. If you feel your hip flexor start to cramp up, that is normal. And that's kind of the whole point. We're using muscles we don't often use. Uh, if it cramps up, just take your leg off, stretch it out for a sec, let it get back to normal, and then just keep going. Why are you being so weird? Y'all are weird. Doing good, keep going. Just like a toe touch, try to roll those uh, legs back. Just like this. Don't go like this, toes forward. Go like here, heel forward. Good, good, good. Try to keep the bottom knee straight. So in this, in this time when we can't get into the gym and, and do our workouts like we, we normally would, uh, it's, we have to take it upon ourselves to make sure we're still working out and staying in shape. Uh, one, of my, one of my athletes I trained a long time ago, she broke her foot, she was out for a long time, and when she came back, she was better than before she left because she worked out every single day. Uh, a lot of, uh, obviously all the things we have to do has to do with skill and technique, but strength is a big factor. The more you work out, the easier stuff is. As we finish that up, come on over. So, we've got our next thing and we've got three different difficulty levels. Sarah, go there. Oh. Mitch, yeah, okay. come here. Nadia, go there. So this is what we call over, over, back, back. I'm gonna be you first. So exact same thing, we're isolating the hip flexor. So I like to have hands on hips and I'm really trying to not move anything else. I'm pointing my toe to begin. Step forward, chest tall, over, and back. That is one. I'm going to do 20 with one foot, and then do 20 with the other. Again, you can see it's slow and controlled. Anybody can just throw it over. That's not difficult, but it's not working those muscles. Try to go slow and controlled. We got what I think is relatively easy. This one's going to be kind of difficult just because it's wider, so you have to hold it for longer. And then we have the higher one. Again, you want to control every bit of it. Cool. 20 on each leg. 
I believe in you. You got it, Phoenix Flyers. Oh yeah. Cool. Get it here. Thank you. Focus. There we go. Thank you. Doing good, friends. Taking your time. Getting strong. Is this too easy, Nadia? No, I think this is pretty good. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. We're on the we're on the midget one, though I guess that's appropriate. <laughs> Doing good, friends. One leg and then the other. It's okay, Mitch, I didn't get that. Again, if you're following at home, just find something to be kicking over. Do not kick televisions, shelves. Be smart. Here. You're not a flyer. Sound good? Foot up. 20, 20, 20 on each foot. <laughs> you will likely not be able to move it quite as far. Got it, Scar? More likely it's going to look more like this with just a little lift instead of a nice big lift like that. But that is okay. Even if it's just a little bit, you're working the muscles. This is how you get it stronger. Try to keep that knee straight. <laughs> sideways, that's in front, just like you would do a toe touch, 20 like that, and then turning around, chest tall, we don't want this, that's gross, chest tall, hands, hips, and using your booty and back muscles to lift 20 like that. Doing great, friends, super fun, oh yeah, don't worry, next we're going back to the over, over, back, back, but not even getting tall one. Ten oh one. Thank you. 
No problem. How are we feeling? How are our hips feeling? Crampy? Yeah. Good. That's the feeling of strength. Go team. Almost done. This is the over over back backs, but we're going to change it up. Sarah, go there. Mitch, have an easy time. Nadia, I believe in you. Over and back is one. Hop two. There you go. Easy. Good. Try to stay in control. Just gonna be, we're just gonna be pulling and holding heel stretches. Mitch, turn around, just pull a heel stretch and hold it. I don't care, whatever you like. So she's up and she's lifting and holding it. That's the big key is we have to hold the stretch for like 10 seconds. That's how we're gonna get it stronger. And relax. Now that's our normal, normal way we do that and we're gonna do more of that later. But before we do more of that, I wanna do it and make it way harder. So we're gonna make it more difficult uh, by coming over here. do our relatively easy one. So she's just gonna start the foot here and then pull the stretch from there and hold it for about 10 seconds. Okay, hard, boom, pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clean. You're gonna catch your breath and then you're gonna do it all over. The whole point of this is we've all seen, actually perfect example, we've all some, seen somebody in the air do a stunt, pull a heel stretch and miss and, and we don't want to have to bring the whole foot down again. So go ahead again. If we miss, let go and pull it back up. Boom. That's what we want to be able to do is be able to have that strength. Thank you, baby. Have that strength to be able to just lift it even if it's in midair. So we're going to have, again, kind of a easy, medium, more difficult uh, way to do that. And we're going to start Mitch right there. Nadia, I want you to have your foot here. Sarah, you're going to have your foot here. Again, we're going to go. We're going to keep it relatively easy. You're just going to do five on each leg, um, but you're going to hold it for 10 seconds each time. So put one, one foot up there. So Sarah's going to be here. She's going to pull right from there. Pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then put it back down. She's going to do five on this leg, five on the other. By starting with the foot higher off the ground, we have less momentum and it's going to require more strength. Uh, if you've got more time, I would do all of these variations. I would do five from maybe knee height, five from here. If you want to try the really difficult stuff, find something really high where your foot's already starting here and you just have to lift it off just using your leg. Five on each leg, holding ten seconds each time. 
Now remember when you're doing this at home, the big trap people fall into is they'll say, well, I pulled the body position a whole lot of times, but they'll, you'll pull and then let go, and we don't get any stronger from that. It's about sustaining it, that's when you get stronger. So you've got to pull and then lift and hold it. You wanna really go for 10 seconds or so. My heel stretch is not the one to be desired, but I think you get the, uh, the idea. When you are all done with all of those, come over here, but take your time and finish right. Get some good body positions. Like I said, it's, uh, it's rough when we can't get in and do the work that we want to do, but it's completely up to you how you're going to be when you get back in. Gym's closed at the moment, and if you want to stay at home and do nothing, then it's going to be a little rough when you got back, get back into uh, competition season. But if you just work out every day, you're going to come back stronger than you left. And that's, that's what I would want to do. Doing great, Andre. <laughs> Keep it up. Beautiful. next thing while they're finishing up. So this one, this one's a little bit weird, but it's again really, really good for strengthening. Go ahead and lay down. So Miss Sarah, she's gonna just lay down flat on the ground and she's gonna pull her body position. Um, we can go, I, my favorite is to do a two hand stretch straight to the front, go ahead and pull one of those. If you're not as flexible yet, then you can go with a standard stretch over here, but really try to be bringing it to the center. Now she's gonna pull it, and then she's going to use her arm muscles and pull it as far as she can. And then, this is the really hard part, she's going to let go with her hands and try to leave it there. So she's trying to leave it here. One, two, bring it close, bring it close. Three, closer. Four, five, keep going, keep going. Six, touch my hand. Seven, eight, keep going, hold it, hold it. Nine, ten, and relax. It's, it's really difficult. But you've all seen those really impressive flyers who can go up, pull a stretch, and then let go and their leg is still hanging up there, this is how you get to that point. This is one of my favorite ways to build those muscles to get to that point. So we just did one on one leg, just like before, we're gonna do five on each leg, holding it for 10 seconds each. So you keep going, you saw this, you all come on in and join the fun. So remember, grab it, use your hands and pull as close to you can, close to your body as you can, and then let go and try to hold it as close to your body as possible. Even if it doesn't feel like it's close, that's fine. It's, it's not about being perfect right now, it's about getting there. So circle around so you can see the side. Keep pulling, keep pulling, shin towards your face. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. About 10 seconds for each, five on each side. as close as it gets. Yeah, you can feel it in abs and hips. Maybe I should try to breathe. Yep, I'm gonna do that once, but y'all are gonna do that five times on each leg. Keep going, keep going. Jason, time check. Uh, 19 minutes. Bam. Fantastic. We are almost done, friends. Almost done. In fact, we only have one thing left. Keep going. We're almost there. When you are done, come on over here. Come on, there. this at home and you find yourself finishing way before these young ladies, you might be rushing. Remember to take your time on all of these exercises. All of the things we've done today, going fast is usually not a good thing. This is all, all muscle and, and core control. You want to be taking your time and controlling the whole time.
just because I want to I wanna wrap up the video before we get too far uh, over 20 minutes, uh, I'm going to show you the next thing. We're going to go through it, but then you can finish it up on your own. I really like to do this in front of a mirror so you can see what you're doing. Um, and we're just going to, it's, it's the simplest, it seems really obvious, but it's the best way to get better at body positions. We're just going to do body positions. So she's going to kick into a heel stretch, hold it, one, two, lift higher, three, higher, four, keep holding, five, six, keep holding, seven, eight, nine, ten, and clean. Good. So she's going to do, think of it like this, just every body position for ten seconds, five times. Now every body position, that means we did heel stretch, we need to do opposite heel stretch, we also need to do scale. Go ahead. There. We need to do scale. So she's gonna pull and lift, and, and she's not chilling. She is trying to lift into the best possible scale. One, two, three, all the way up to 10. And she's controlling it and lifting and lifting, and then she's gonna clean in control, and then she's gonna do the exact same thing in a score. Um, Y'all go ahead and start with um, stretches real quick. So this will take a while because we're doing all, all the body positions. So that's five heel stretch, five opposite stretch, five scale, five scorp. So that's at least 20 things holding for 10 seconds each. Now, if you wanna make it a tiny bit more challenging, which I think is always a good thing to do, I want you to hop onto some uneven surface at home. I think just having a pillow is a perfect thing. Or you can use a textbook, come in close. I want you to stand with half your foot hanging off. Just like that. So now she needs to learn how to pull that heel stretch because someday she's gonna be a competition and somebody's gonna not grab her toe. So she needs to learn how to do all this stuff just on her heel. So she's gonna pull and she's gonna try to make sure, even with her uneven footing, that she can still hold those nice pretty stretches and clean. Um, that's just one more thing to make it a little more challenging. Come here, friends. Um, yeah, come, yeah, you friends. What? Come here. Um, so, we did a really abbreviated version of that last bit, uh, but you want to do all those body positions five times each, holding it for 10 seconds. It seems like the simplest thing ever, but that's how you get really good body positions, just do more body positions. Uh, and we want to thank you for tuning in. This has been our flyer conditioning class. We're going to have another one for all the flexibility stuff. And thank you so much. Work hard at home. Bye-bye.